before long we were we were making chairs. We had a, a basic model. We had replaced the the box side frame with a triangle. Mm -hmm. um, one of the young women who was active in our group, who was our um, sewing expert, um, had come up with that triangular side frame, just simplifying things, mm -hmm. making it more like a bicycle, mm -hmm. stronger, lighter, cheaper. Um, and um, so we had several chairs we were trying to sell them, um, but they didn't look like a classic chair. They weren't chrome plated. They were just painted with a brush. They didn't look like a standard wheelchair. They were just a little, a little strange. Mm -hmm. Not what the professionals wanted, and um, it turned out not what mu much of anybody with money wanted. Also, they were they were they were kind of rustic looking. They were Nicaraguan. They were homemade. They were handmade. And um, and there was local prejudice against local goods. They wanted import mm -hmm. until um, this was right after the end of their war. Um, 1981 ended just a couple of years earlier, and and uh, there were there was an organization of of young disabled folks, mostly newly disabled folks. Um, some from the war, some from polio, because the vaccines had not been distributed by the earlier government. And, and um, so some of these young fellows in particular got together and, and as a kind of a demonstration to say, well, here we are, we're, we're not going away. Um, some of us were partially responsible for creating this new new government, new society, and we intend to be included. Um, so they held a marathon clear across Managua. Mm -hmm. And it got a lot of press. It was a, it was a very good job of um, public relations. So one thing, one thing these young guys didn't plan on was that the young woman who had designed the mm -hmm. triangular side frame planned on entering as well. Mm -hmm. They had their old American chairs, 50 pounds, typical weight. She had her 35 pound Nicaraguan chair. Her chair had the, had the lighter weight frame. Mm -hmm. um, it had far less weight on the front wheels. It had a longer wheelbase. It was stabler. It was, uh, easier to push, the ergonomics mm -hmm. were better, her, her seat was further back and lower down, so she could use a much better stroke on the hand rims, and she left them all in the dust. <laughs> Within two weeks, they had sold 12 chairs, prepaid, mm -hmm. and now, nearly 30 years later, that same shop is still cranking them out. Now there are four shops in Nicaragua, all making wheelchairs. Um, they've gone through several generations of, of design, and some of the most significant safety improvements in their wheelchairs um, happened when I was not there. 